Hey there, welcome back to the Badass Business Planning course. We're still in module two where we're talking about your uniqueness. And here in lesson three, we're talking about your core values. So again, on the canvas, this is the second box in the your uniqueness area. And this is where we're transitioning. Not so much. We're not going to be talking about like the things that you're very good at, but the things you believe in. And I'm going to keep this lesson short again, because we cover it in more depth in the online marketing foundations course. Again, module two, lesson five is the core values lesson. And so that's where we cover it. But I'm going to give you a quick overview and to understand understand what you're doing here. The idea behind the core values is this is about defining the things that you believe in that are kind of your, the value based things that will impact how you're going to build and run your business. And so, um, the, the reason why you need to do this in business planning, number one, it will affect how you structure things. It will affect the things that you're willing to do and not willing to do, but also your values can attract the right customers. So this is where it, it kind of, it's a mix of two things. One, it'll affect how you structure offers, et cetera, but also it will affect who you are likely to attract because you will attract like-minded people who tend to share your values. So that's what you're looking for here. Now, the types of things that you value, generally speaking, the values will be related to your line of business, but they don't have to be. And so some people, for example, have very political or cultural core values that they bring into their business. Now that is very polarizing right? If, if you are on one side of the political aisle and you're very open about that, chances are that's going to repel people on the other side, but that's okay because it will actually attract people who have the same viewpoint with you. So you can do those things. There's a lot of brands that have been very open about those kinds of issues. And you see it even with big brands now that they are taking stands on kind of these cultural issues that are important to society. But here, this should not be about you like picking something to be controversial. It should be about you identifying the things that you believe in. And so some of the things for us here in, in my core values on my team and, and the ways that this will come in is we believe business should be fun. And so that comes through that we don't take ourselves too seriously. So that kind of impacts the feel of the brand, but it will also impact the people who I attract people who want a lawyer or, or a thought leader who is dressed up, who's very buttoned up. I'm not for them, but that's okay. But similarly, another one of our core values is that we are about accessibility and accessibility in every way that we can think of. So some of this has to do with, with providing accessibility um, for any kind of uh, disability issues, which is why we tend to have transcripts from the beginning. We've had transcripts, audio, downloads, video. We, we make it all available because we want people to be able to consume in a way that serves them. But separate from that, we also want to make business training and marketing education accessible to people. So you can see how that core value flows through to our decision to create bomb you and give this all away to you for free. So again, that's one of our core values. And so what you're going to need to do, and, and what I want you to do is go watch the lesson at online marketing foundations. It is module two, lesson five. And this is where you're going to figure out what are your core values. And I want you to define them because those core values will be an important part of defining what your business is going to look like. So it's an important part of what you should do. And by the way, you will update these over time. And, and I want to be, give you an example of this. The, the, the notion of accessibility is something that we, in my business, it kind of was something we were always doing, but in the summer of 2020 is when we formally said, you know what, this has always been part of what we do, but we're going to make it a formal stated core value of our business. And sometimes you recognize what you're already doing. Sometimes you decide, Hey, I've been doing this wrong and I need to, to, to change it because it doesn't feel right for me 
personally, morally, whatever you want to say. But that's how you're going to come up with your core values. You want to define them so that you know what they are, but then also so that other people know and you can attract people who are likely to, to kind of be in line and aligned with your values. So that's the work here for, for defining your core values. Uh, next up, we'll talk about cowbell. And that's the final part of the Your Uniqueness, which we'll cover in the next lesson. So I will see you there.